My name is Becky Thompson, and I have a PhD from the University of Texas in the Department of Spanish and Portuguese. Um, I am a training manager for Marsis, which is a marketing technology company. And in this role, I train um, our clients and also our employees, but mostly our clients in all of the Americas on how to use our software in order to do digital marketing. One of the most interesting projects that we, um, that I have undertaken uh, since I started at Amarsis was planning, uh, organizing a series of seminars in Mexico City. And um, what happened was when I was hired, they were looking for someone who would be able to not only run trainings in the English speaking part of the Americas, but also in Latin America. Um, so it just so happened I was a perfect fit for that role with my uh, linguistic knowledge and then also with, um, with my training or teaching experience. So this was the first time that people, uh, uh, how, how should I put this? This was the first time that a specified training manager was going to Latin America and was going to meet with these people, um, these clients um, in person. And it was also the first time that I, as a training manager, was meeting my colleagues in Mexico City. So, um, and, and, and our, our Latin America um, industry, or our Latin America side is relatively new. So I think aside from the, the organizational aspects of it, which were, um, there was a lot of, of organizing and getting everybody together and um, figuring out dates and topics, et cetera. Um, I think what it, see afterwards, the results of it are that both our clients and our, um, my colleagues felt so valued with the fact that we would send a training manager to Latin America to do these in-person trainings. And we really established these relationships that have facilitated working together as a team, um, working together across regions, because um, that, uh, especially with cultural differences, it can be very difficult. Um, and also it has created stronger relationships with our clients. They're buying more products, they're, um, they're renewing. They feel like now they have someone who they know my face, they know, they've seen me, they are able to ask me questions and send me an email and they feel like um, they're really valued by our company. So I found that to be, it was really, it was a great experience and um, I would love to, now that I know the effect that it had, I would love to continue creating those spaces and those opportunities. The best advice that I got was after I made the decision to leave academia, and it was from people who were not in academia, uh, who were giving me little tidbits of advice. For example, I have a good friend who also works in the marketing industry, and she said, are you in LinkedIn? And I said, no. She said, get on LinkedIn and start publishing articles or these short blog, these short articles or blog um, entries, because then you can get people on board with your experience. They start to get to know you and you're able to really start networking. And I think that's something, LinkedIn is something that graduate students don't leverage enough academia does not leverage enough. In the corporate world, 
everybody is on LinkedIn and everybody is constantly chatting and um, checking out different posts, reading about what's going on in their industry or in industries that are interesting to them. So that was the, one of the best pieces of advice. Also another great piece of advice from another friend who left academia was um, to get outside help, to have someone help me rewrite my resume because I was too far in the, the weeds to really get a perspective on what was important to include there and what was not important. My published articles, as hard as I worked on them, they're not important. My dissertation, as hard as I worked on that, it was not important in the CV. So getting outside help, um, it was really hard to see that, to see what got cut out, but it was also helpful, really helpful in that transition process. You know, do your research. You're a researcher. Do your research on the company beforehand. Um, but I, I would say don't make assumptions and just stay down to earth. I would hire someone, I would hire someone in a heartbeat who is a graduate of a graduate program, an MA or a PhD, if they were down to earth and a good listener, honestly. <laughs>